you guys remember in elementary school when we were given bracelets and made to sign pledges saying that we wouldn't smoke because it was uncool and dangerous? The message seemed so clear to us back then. Smoking would kill you. Just don't smoke. We would laugh and poke fun at this unnecessary exercise, thinking how obvious it was to us that we would never pick up this habit. Fast forward a couple years, however, and many of my friends have forgotten this lesson. As I walk the short distance from my parking lot to my high school, I'm often subjected to walking through a haze of smoke produced by my childhood friends. What happened? Well, since I was in elementary school, a new form of voking, vaping, uh, smoking has come onto the scene, and it's called vaping. It's called vaping. Vapes tell my friends that they're fun and they won't give them cancer. And how can it be dangerous, right, when they come in bright colors and fun flavors, like alien blood and cotton candy, right? Well, as it turns out, the effects of vaping have not been largely studied, and that's what I set out to do. My project was about testing the effects of vaping on pregnancy. So the way I did this was I incubated chicken eggs, and I exposed them to vaporizer, electronic cigarette, and tobacco smoke. And I also had a control group. Um, just in case you were wondering, no chickens were harmed in the making of this project, as I followed strict protocol, and, I, um, and all of the chicken eggs that were fertilized ended up hatching. At the end of my project, I weighed the chickens and recorded at what time they hatched. From this data, um, from this data, I was able to see that if applied to a human gestation period, the severe effects could be witnessed. For example, with the eggs that were in the electronic cigarette, vaporizer, um, and tobacco smoke groups, um, they were born, uh, they hatched one to two days prior to what was expected and to the control group. This is suggestive of um, premature birth, which is often witnessed in mothers who smoke. Similarly, um, seen in babies who are exposed to tobacco smoke during fetal development, um, they are often born underweight. This is also seen in my chickens as um, when they hatched, they were on average, uh, they on average weighed less than the control group. Um, however, after three to four days, they did catch up um, in their weight. Harvard University also recently did a study showing that there needs to be more regulations on vaporizers. They did a study on a chemical called diacetyl, which is found in 75% of all vaporizer liquids. Diacetyl <coughs> has been known to cause lung disease called bronchiolitis obliterans, which when translated literally means obliterated lungs. This disease causes severe scarring in the tops of the lungs as well as inflamed airways, which means that People with this disease often have shortness of breath, severe coughing fits, as well as an inability to exhale. This serves as a warning, showing that we need to have more regulation on these types of products. Um, the FDA recently uh, did acknowledge this need and in 2016 passed laws on what they call ENDS, or Electronic Nicotine Delivery Systems, as seen above. But more needs to be done, and now, as many of these laws will not take effect until 2018. With this information, it is important that we spread the word to our peers and our loved ones, saying that vaporizers are dangerous. It might be corny to have kids my age sign pledges and wear bracelets, but we're not unreachable. We might not be the MTV generation, but all types of media have never been more prevalent in society. Already, organizations like the Orange Truth have been making movements to trying to get trying to educate kids on the dangers of this uh, activity. But again, more needs to be done. I don't have the ultimate answer. There is no panacea to this problem, but I am very passionate about it and working towards a goal to where we can educate kids on the dangers of vaping. One story that sticks with me stems from a close friend who, after I completed my project, asked me, so, vaping won't kill me, right? Despite sentiments like these, I am still hopeful. As a community, it is our job to extinguish this growing trend of vaping so that our youth can live longer, happier lives. Thank you.
thank you for your talk. Um, so, what is the difference between e-cigarettes and vapes? So vaporizers, or at least the one I use, you can actually change the type Wait, of- you use a vapor? Oh no, I did not. Okay. In my experimentation, just to make this clear, I had a syringe connected to a piece of plastic tubing. So when you attach it to the end of the vaporizer, you could pull it out and you could see the smoke inside so you would know how much you were pumping inside of the incubator. Um, but in the, in the type of vaporizer I used in my experiment, I, um, you were able to change the amount of nicotine that was in the cartridge and also the flavor. Um, and then with an e-cigarette, um, they tend to be less customizable and smaller, and um, they are mostly water vapor. However, the one that I was using also had nicotine in it. Um, so if vaporizers still have negative effects, then what was the point of even creating vaporizers? If they still have negative effect and there's no alternative that has, I don't know, positive consequences to smoking? Well, in the beginning, they were originally created um, so that people could quit their addiction, um, and it's supposed to be like a transitional thing. Um, and so in the beginning, it was mostly just vapor, but as the industry grew, people started adding more things to it, so it made it fun, and then therefore more addictive. Um, so the best thing to do is to just, just try and quit, like don't use vaporizers as a way to try and quit, probably, because they are still addictive, because they do have nicotine in them. So the best thing is to do, the best thing to do is just not to start. <laughs> Um, so do you think that there will ever be an alternative to smoking that doesn't have negative consequences? Probably not. Anything that you're putting in your lungs that isn't air, like even think about the air that we breathe, if it's polluted, then it's harming us. So we don't want to intentionally put this in our lungs. So probably there won't be anything, at least not in the near future. Uh, thank you very much, you. and give it up for Bailey.